welcome. My name is Imani Fuller, and I'm a proud member of the graduating class of 2022 and the National Honor Society president. <laughs> Please stand for the presentation of colors by our NJROTC, followed by the national anthem and the alma mater sung by the chorus of Booker T. Washington High School. And also please remain standing for the retirement of colors. I know that this year has definitely been a struggle, especially with this being our first full year of school since the COVID-19 pandemic, but y'all, I'd like to say, we have made it. Okay. And with that being said, it is my esteemed honor to recognize our distinguished guests joining us on stage today. Please stand in recognition as I call your name. Dr. Sharon I. Birdsong, Superintendent of Norfolk Public Schools. Mr. Carlos Clinton, 
School Board Vice Chair, Dr. James Cole, Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Linnell Gibson, Chief Schools Officer, and Dr. Barbara Kimsey, Executive Director of Secondary Schools and Programs. And now for the administrative team at Booker T. Washington High School. Dr. Margie G. Hayes, our proud principal. Mrs. Stephanie Hazel, our assistant principal. Dr. Amy Trigero, our assistant principal. And Mr. Curtis Young, our assistant principal. Also like to we would also like to introduce our distinguished school board members. Please stand as I call your name. Ms. Tanya Basin, Ms. Laura Campson, Mr. Rodney Jordan, and Mr. Leon Browson. our feeder elementary and middle schools, and any other central <laughs> administration personnel. We will now have another selection from our course.
Thank you, Mr. Ziegler and Chorus. At this time, please welcome Cassandra Jimenez as she introduces our salutatorian. Good afternoon, everyone. Our salutatorian has been a proud booker since her freshman year. She is an honor roll student, always striving to be better than the day before. She possesses a multitude of outstanding academic and personal qualities that make her deserving to serve as our salutatorian for the class of 2022. Cy Raven Amasio has maintained a 4.3 GPA at Booker T. Washington High School and continually strives to better herself academically. Cy Raven Amasio is a passionate about dancing and her passion is evident as she has been in the dance program since she has been a Booker. She has a strong work ethic and is able to work with others in a professional and respectable manner. Cy Raven plans to further her education by attending ODU University in the fall to major in accounting. Cy Raven Amasio is a go-getter and we can look forward to seeing great things from her in the future. Please join me in welcoming our salutatorian for Booker T. Washington's High School, Class of 2022, Ms. Cy Raven Amasio. Thank you, Cassandra. Good afternoon, friends, families, teachers and staffs, and of course, to my fellow graduates, the wonderful class of 2022. My name is Cy Raven Amasio, your class salutatorian. And honestly, talking in front of a lot of people is not my biggest strength. But I'm really grateful to see in your beautiful faces celebrating this wonderful occasion together. So I am standing here in front of all of you to tell you guys a story of how I became the person that I am today. The kind of person I never knew would have the courage and beliefs that I can be successful one day. In the past years, each of us encountered problems along the way. We all have our ups and downs, high and lows, doubts and fears. Looking back, I was just 12 when I first moved here in the United States. I am beyond scared. Scared that I will not fit in, scared that I will fail, scared that I will not understand this new culture. I am full of doubts. There are even times when I really don't want to go to school because I felt so embarrassed. I felt that I won't be able to make it. I have no friends. I know no one. I am terrified that I will get bullied because I'm new or because I'm Asian or because I'm just an immigrant. Every day, I will cry and ask my mom if you can just go back to the Philippines. My mom would then tell me that she has faith in me. She knows that I will be all right. And I guess she's right, because one fine day, I've come to realize that I can't be like this forever. I can't live in the past if I want a bright future. I can't doubt myself because my family believes in me. I can't be shy if I want to excel in everything that I do. I can't be a coward. I want my family to be proud of me. I want to show everyone that regardless of what country I am in, I am extraordinary. Yeah. And from that new motivation, my hopes were restored. I started to feel great and confident, unafraid and determined, hopeful and empowered. I've learned how to make friends. I've learned how to adapt to my new environment. I've learned that it's really not about what race you are, not about where you came from, not about the color of your skin, but it is all about your faith and dedication to what you are doing. Yeah. 
And personally, none of us would be here today if it weren't for the love, support, and guidance of the people who have been with us since the very beginning of our journey. In fact, I did not do everything alone. I found my people who not only inspired me, but also challenged me to become the best person that I can be. And I want to thank these people who became a big part of my life here at Booker T. Washington High School. I want to thank my family, especially my mom. I know being a single parent is hard. Don't worry, Mama. I promise I won't let you down. I promise that you will always have me. This is for you. I would also like to thank all the teachers who never underestimated our potential and capabilities, who never failed to encourage us to work smarter, not harder. I want to thank all of you, not only for the knowledge you've taught us, but also the life lessons that truly shaped our identity and the life lessons that we can pass on to the next generation. To my friends who I genuinely admire because of their kindness and understanding, I will never forget all the memories we all had, including series of laughters and the never-ending procrastination. Despite all the struggles we encountered in our lives, I know we did our best to overcome those obstacles so we can finally celebrate the day we all have been waiting for, our high school graduation. Right now, I am continually trying to make choices that will put me out of my comfort zone and always keeping in mind that no matter what happens in life, we should be good to people because being good to people is a wonderful legacy to leave behind. And finally, I want to congratulate my fellow graduates. I wish you guys all the best in life and good luck to our next turn. Please join me in welcoming Derek Lee, who will introduce our, our valedictorian. Thank you, Cy Raven. Good afternoon. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce our valedictorian for Booker T. Washington's class of 2022, Ms. Ayana Askew. Ayana is a Norfolk native and the second eldest of four children of Mr. and Mrs. Mark Eskew Sr. She serves as a class president, and for the past three years, she attended the Governor's School for the Arts on the theater track. She is also a straight honor honors student with a 4.48 GPA, <laughs> enrolled in multiple AP classes at Booker T. Ayana is a two-time National Honorable Mention C-SPAN Student Cam winner a two-time national NAACP AXO Poetry Performance Gold Medalist, as well as a Gates Scholarship recipient, a United States Presidential Scholar, and a Dovey Roundtree Full Ride Scholarship recipient to Spelman College. She will attend Spelman College this fall, double majoring in English on a pre-law track in theater slash performance. Ayana intends to utilize her undergrad education and y'all degree to advocate for the individuals that have been wrongly incarcerated and are serving times for crimes they did not commit. Please join me in welcoming our Gate Scholar recipient, Presidential Scholar and Class Valedictorian, Ms. Ayana Askew. Um, thank you, Derek, for the wonderful introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. 
In light of the mass shootings that have occurred within the last 30 days, in addition to a few of our own here at Booker T. Washington High School, who li whose lives have been terminated due to gun violence, I would like to ask for those who are able to stand to stand for a moment of silence. Also at this time, keeping your thoughts and prayers, Booker T. Washington's rising 11th grader, Ms. Donasia Lee, who is recovering from a hit and run car accident as she was walking to school in March of this year. Thank you, you may be seated. As previously stated, my name is Ayana Ashanti Askew. It is my pleasure and absolute honor to stand before you as Booker Talaferro Washington High School's valedictorian for the class of 2022. I would firstly like to take, take the time to give thanks to God for the abundance of both blessings and opportunities. I would also like to take the time to thank Dr. Hayes, our wonderful and outstanding Booker T. Washington High School principal, who prior to my freshman year took the time out to give me a tour of Booker T, as well as made me her special guest to see Booker T's production of Once on this Island. I would also like to thank our hardworking and dedicated assistant principals, teachers, counselors, parents, family members, Norfolk Public School staff, alumni, and of course, last but certainly not least, Booker T. Washington High School's one and only class of 2022. Please join me in giving them a big round of applause. Um, approximately four years ago, as a graduating eighth grader from Ghent School in Norfolk, Virginia, I had my eyes set on going to Granby High School's International Baccalaureate Program. However, my dad threw a monkey wrench in my plans and told me I would be attending the school of my zip code, Booker T. Washington High School. He explained to me, and I quote, that our communities could no longer afford for students to be cherry-picked out of our zip codes to bolster other zip codes and schools. I'm sure all of you can imagine my frustration. Many people labeled Booker T as being a fight school and almost everyone I knew labeled it as less than. I remember entering high school with my head lowered. I remember the self-conscious thoughts that make, made it seem like all whispers and conversations were about me. I remember the tears I cried as I sat alone in the hallway during lunch. I remember Dr. Stallings at the time telling me that it would all get better to just give it time. I followed her advice and I started to grow out of my shell. And in efforts, as a side note, um, to make my speech more unique and genuine, I would like to share a piece of myself with all of you through my spoken word poetry as I continue. However, as time passed, the more comfortable I became. My head slowly started to rise as I walked with my head held high. I walked into this year with more confidence than I have in my entire life. My caterpillar days were over and I was blossoming into a butterfly, spreading my wings to fly, and I owe it all to you. So my fellow, my beautiful, my outstanding, and my amazing class of 2022, I learned that the labels outsiders gave to our school were just that, labels, stamped on to portray the stereotypical black school, designed to demean and degrade, designed to scare students away and make them afraid. But from this school, I learned the definition of passion, of resilience, of hard work, confidence, and black brilliance. You all define the word grind as I watched you work almost full time to take care of the ones you love most. So watching you all up close as you bounce back like a ball after hitting the ground time after time. The scars that linger after one too many encounters with the battles life brings reminds you of your record of undefeat. That life cannot take away your crowns because you cannot and will not be beat. To my awards and my accolades, I dedicate them all to you because although I can't relate to all that you went through, you shaped who I am, who I will become. You taught me that we're not all so different and move as one. 
I watched all of you defy gravity as you refused to let reality weigh you down and keep you close to the ground because you knew you were born to fly. That the sky isn't the limit, it's the beginning. Reach out and touch the stars. Never let your circumstance define who you are. Remember that strength is in our DNA, intertwined in the double helix strands as we stand on the shoulders of giants, on the shoulders of those who went to Booker Talofero, Washington, in high school when it was just a factory, literally, walking miles on end to earn their high school degree, the factory that produced people like my grandfather, as well as many of the people I aspire to be, class of 2022, we are their legacy. In conclusion, understand that no matter how much our past may differ from those of us going on to pursue post-secondary education to those of you going into the workforce or the military or vocational school, we are truly no different. We are all destined for greatness. Let's go out into the world and be so phenomenal we aren't forgotten. Let's stop trying to predict our futures and go create it. The world is our canvas. Let's use our talents to collectively paint the nation of our imagination. Nation. Let's stop the cycle of being slaves to society, of being slaves to a system not built nor designed for us. Let's be change makers, wisdom seekers, and last but not least, let's lean on one another as we move forward, because although we are only 20% of the population now, we are 100% of the future. Congratulations to our Booker T. Washington High School class of 2022. We did it. I would like to now introduce Ms. Lakeisha Mays, school counselor, who will share the scholarship dollars earned by this great class. Thank you, Ayana. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I am here this afternoon to announce that the class of 2022 has earned $4.5 million in scholarship offers. Congratulations to all of the graduates and good luck to each of you. It is my pleasure to bring back to the podium, Dr. Hayes. Good afternoon and thank you, Ms. Mays. It is now time to recognize each of the members of the class of 2022 which will be presented by two of our English teachers, Mrs. Davidson Cook and Ms. Seward. I am also going to ask if Dr. Birdsong, Norfolk Public School Superintendent, and Mr. Carlos Clanton, School Board Vice Chair, join me in congratulating our graduates. In addition, Drs. Gibson, Pohl, and Kimsey, and the administrative team of Booker T. Washington High School, would you please step forward and assist me in recognizing our graduates. In order to pay respect to the graduates, we request that applause be held until each name has been read. It is our hope that students are equally acknowledged and that every graduate gets the recognition that they deserve. Ayana Ashanti Askew, with honors. Imani Fuller, with honors. Derek Kishan Lee. Sai Raven Amasio, with honors. Cassandra Paulina Jimenez, with honors. Paul Clark. <laughs> Swain Letitia Clinton with honors. Kimona Alanis Ward with honors. Scott Allen Jr. with honors. Jaden Emmanuel Benjamin Baird with honors.
Jakeba Latrell Barber. Sheridan Rhiannon Barcina. <laughs> William Jeremiah Barnes. Aaliyah Jasmine Annette Blackledge with honors. Abria Lasaya Booker. <laughs> Daryl Jacoby Boone. Nicholas, Nicholas Gray Bowden. Ayana Ariel Brion with honors. Avant Kyrie Britt. Jada Anaya Broadus with honors. Victoria Janelle Dean with honors. Demarius Jamal Dupree. Kiana Nicole Elliott. Amaria Tayana Evans with honors. Renaya Danika Evans. Noah Manzel Falano. Miranda Brockett with honors. Jayshawn Jameer Brooks. Benaya Faith Brown. Abigail Burton. <laughs> Amaya Sheree Caldwell. Kayla Dawn Card. <laughs> Jayann Gabriel Carter with honors. <laughs> Kenny Jonathan Chavez. <laughs> Tavian Nathaniel Chu with honors. <laughs> Lorenzo Gamble. <laughs> Elijah Anthony Gabriel. Shane Thomas Gable with honors. Janine Renee Foreman with honors. Angelica Marie Feliciano Torres with honors. Jada Isadora Fairby. Andre Balderas Cofield. Taylor Pearl Corporal with honors. Moy Alana Devana Cowles. It's me. It is you. Aaliyah Ari Cuffey with honors. Anavie Jalia Cummings. <laughs> Janiah Trinice Curry. Janelle May Cruz Datwin with honors. Amani David. Darnell Certified Davis. <laughs> I love it. Amani Julia Jackson. Jason Corey Jackson with honors. Caleb Devon Jacobs. Ahmad Malik Jennings. Jonay Beautiful Johnson. Maisha Quantara Johnson. Michaela Alexis Naomi Harrell. Asia Harrell. Ayana Denise Harley. Nakis Daryl Hardy. Danita Harbison. Naomi Hall.
Latia Benicia Graves. Talia. Talia Benicia Graves. Ethan Joseph Gillespie. <laughs> Kamissa Humphrey. Destin Reginald Kelly with honors. Good job, Destin. Chadrick Etron Kennedy. Sierra Ann King. Yep. Nyendi Zakaya King Miles with honors. Marcus Jermaine Kirkendall. Mauricio Henderson Jr. Demario Jabari Hill. <laughs> Elijah Sincere Hill. Cameron Howard with honors. Chastity Victoria Hudgens. Tyasia Ayana Hersey with honors. Kamora My Angel Hurst with honors. Stephen Lee Hutchings. <laughs> Natasia Ayana Brown. Cameron Devon Jones. Jerome Allen Jones. Tanaya Elizabeth Jones with honors. Ayana Rebecca Green. Genesis Sage Kalua with honors. Renaya. Renaya Monique Landers. <laughs> Tanaya Monet Landers. Dominic Lee Lanier. Anaya Manel Lee. Koda Karmika Leggett. Javian Andrew Lynch. Angel Makaya Martin with honors. Cameron May. Michaela McCall. Chauncey McCollum. Christy Marie McClendon with honors. Kayla Crystal McCorkle with honors. Chanel Tanise McNixon with honors. Marquise Meldrum with honors. And Tiana Shamaya Meekins. Diamond Lakeisha Mitchell. Alan Troy Mitnall, Jr. <laughs> Janae Nicole Moore with honors. Kayla Shade Morris with honors. Angel Kane Mosley. Javen Philip Muir. Nathaniel Angel Marilla. Valerie Navarro. Kriziah Miracle Nicholas. Carlos Noyola. Caleb Aaron Payton. 
Clinton Maurice Pete. Marvin Lee Perkins III. Jenna Marcel Jessica Peterson with honors. Tevion Deshaun Petty with honors. Brendan Lamar Phipps. Benicio, Benicio Jet Poe with honors. Shayana Lachey Powell. Damian Drayton Purnell Jr. Jayla Monet Roberts with honors. Anaya Monet Robinson. Denisha Diana Robinson. Lashanti Arnetta Robinson with honors. Sean Kalo Robinson. Christopher Talib Rosier with honors. Javon Marcus Ruffin. Darius Russell with honors. Makaya Lavon Sanderlin with honors. Malik Terrell Satterfield. Aaliyah, Aaliyah Scott. Tyasia Lashawn Scott. Kalicia Shirley. Xavier Devon Simon. Xavier Levon Simon. Malika. Jade Malika Civils. Tanaya Danae Skinner. Jada Renee Smith with honors. O'Brien Denali Speller. Malachi J. Stanley. Catherine Lee Stewart with honors. Lashanti Sumner. Tejan Talley. Kamaya Tan Johnson. Octavius Daquan Thornton. Sierra Carlin Victoria with honors. Brianna Imani Wallace with honors. Takaya Ariana Walton. Zamarion Damon Warren. Shelby White with honors. Cheyenne Monet Wiggins. Tynasia Amia Wiggins. Cedric Stacarlos Williams. Darnesia Lee Williams. Jasmine Lamoy Williams. Malia Lauren Williams. Ready? Okay. Omarion D'Angelo Williams with honors. Imani 
Alexis Wilson. Javani Ariana Wilson. Perry Jesse Wilson. Sean Caleb Wilson. Vonte Lee Wingate with honors. Shania Jeshelle Wright. Shamaya Alia Melton. I always throw my Thank you, you may be seated. Let's give our graduates another round of applause. Congratulations. Dr. Birdsong, would you please come to the podium? Of course, my dear. <laughs> As the proud principal of Booker T. Washington High School, I certify that you the members of the class of 2022 have successfully met and completed all of the state and local requirements necessary for graduation. Good afternoon, graduates, parents, and friends. On behalf of Norfolk Public Schools, I proudly, I proudly accept Booker T. Washington High School's graduating class of 2022. And by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the school board of the city of Norfolk with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereto pertaining, I hereby declare this class of 2022 graduates of Norfolk Public Schools. Congratulations and best wishes to all graduates and all families. Thank you. Would the class of 2022 please stand? Graduates of Booker T. Washington High School, please move your tassels from the right to the left, signifying that you are an official graduate. Congratulations, graduates, and remain standing for the recessional. At this time, I'm going to ask that all of our guests please stand. Also, guests, would you please remain in your seats, in your stands, until the graduates have exited. You can meet your graduates on the outside. The graduates will go back into the blue room to receive their diplomas. Class of 2022, you have made us Booker proud. Congratulations.